yo what's going on youtube welcome back to another video and today guys i will be showing you on how to put a trash vest on any of your jogger outfits but this does work on all platforms and it does work on male and female character as well but if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notification as well let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video so if you want the trash vest on your joggers make sure you have the outfit ready and make sure it does not have a mask or helmet. You can always put the mask and helmet later on after the glitch. So now you will need to make your way over to any clothing store on the map. Go over to the top section. Go over to utility tops. Purchase the black battle vest. Back out once. Now go over to the utility vest afterwards. You will need to purchase the peach plate carrier. Now, make your way over to the front counter. You will need to save this as an outfit on slot 1. Now, once you've done that, you will just need to back out once. Go over to the heist coveralls. Then scroll all the way down. Then purchase the yellow hazard. Once you've done that, you will need to make your way over to the closest telescope. So we could do the telescope glitch. Now, just run past the telescope. While pushing right under the d-pad and pull away from the telescope and your mask should disappear off your character's face like this. Open up your interaction menu, go over to style, go over to outfits and apply the saved outfit we just made once. Now back out from the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and your outfit should look exactly like mine. Now you will need to make your way over to the mask store. Once you're there, you will need to overwrite the saved outfit on slot 1. So basically just save this as an outfit on slot 1 once again. Back out from the mask store and apply the saved outfit we just made 4 times very quickly like I did. Now open up your pause menu, go over to online, go over to jobs, go to play jobs, go over to rockstar created, go over to missions and start up a mission called a tight end of a job. Now accept the alert. Once you do accept the alert, you should have the job menu like this. Now go over to confirm settings and launch the mission. You can do this solo. Once you do launch the mission, accept the alert. Now once you do accept the alert, you will be loading into the mission like this. Once you do load into the mission, you should see your character looking like this. Just basically having a gas mask on his outfit like this. Then you will need to make your way over to the closest domination store. Go over to the outfit section like this. Now simply just save this as an outfit on slot 1 once again. Now back out from the front counter. Pull up your phone. Go over to the jobs list. And you must quit the job through the phone like this. So quit the job through the jobs list. Now it will be loading you into the last session you were in. Now you will be needing a friend or a stranger to help you out on this part. So tell your friend or stranger to go over to online, go over to jobs, go over to play jobs. Now go over to Rockstar Created. Now you will need to go over to Versus and you tell your friend or the stranger to load up the mission called Truck Off. So once he does load up the mission called Truck Off, Basically, all he wants to do is invite you into the mission. Now, once he does invite you to the mission, make sure he has the clothing on themed. Now, once he does have the outfits on themed, basically tell him to start up the job with you in it. Now, he will need to go over to the versus outfits and make sure he puts the versus outfits on dead funny. So, once he does put the versus outfits on dead funny, Make sure you join his team. Now, once you don't join his team, make sure he joins your team that you were in. After you've done that, basically you're both ready up. Now, once you're both ready up, you will be loading into the mission with the trash vest and trash pants like this. Now, all you want to do is tell your friend or the stranger just to chill. Make sure he does not get kicked. Now all you want to do is open up interaction menu, go over to style, go over to helmet visor, then you will need to spam right on the d-pad for at least 30 
to 40 seconds. And once you've done that, all you want to do is leave your controller on the floor or wherever so you could get kicked from the mission. So you would just need to leave your interaction menu open after you spam right on the d-pad. And basically just leave your controller, do not touch it. So all you want to do is get kicked from the mission like this. Once it, the alert pops up for beginning kicked, accept the alert. Now you will be loading into story mode and if you do load into story mode, just basically load into the online session once again. I loaded into a regular online session afterwards, so I was pretty lucky. And you will be loading into the online session with the transfers like this. Now, we are not done yet. You will need to make your way over to the closest clothing store once again. Now, all you want to do is go over to the pants section. Go over to the team pants. Then you will need to purchase the black combat pants. Now afterwards, you will need to open up the interaction menu, go over to style, and remove the mask and the gloves off this outfit. You will need to make your way over to the front counter afterwards once you've done this. Now once you're there, you will need to save this as an outfit, not on slot 1. So make sure you do not save this as an outfit on slot 1, just save it on a different slot. Now, all you want to do is back out from the front counter, open up your pause menu like I did, go over to online, go over to jobs, go over to Rockstar Created, then you will need to go over to Versus, then you will need to start up the job called Crooked Cop. Now, once you do start up the job called Crooked Cop, all you want to do is accept the alert once it does pop up, then you will need to invite a friend or a stranger. It doesn't matter which one who joins. And make sure you put the clothing on player owned. Once you put it on player owned, invite your friend or the stranger. At least just one person to help you out. Now, push play after they do join. Now, go over to the owned outfits. And once you're in owned outfits, all you want to do is click one to the right. Then ready up and tell your friend to ready up. Now once you've done that, you will be loading into the mission like this. Now make sure you have an LCD earpiece on. If you do not have an LCD earpiece on, you can always equip one on through your interaction menu like this. And it doesn't have to be an LCD earpiece, just make sure it's a regular earpiece. Now equip it on through your interaction menu like I did. Then steal any of these vehicles right next to you. Then you will need to make your way over to the closest clothing store. Now once you are at the closest clothing store, you will need to get out of the vehicle like this. Make sure the LCD earpiece is on like this. If you do not have it on, equip it on once again through your interaction menu. Now once you do have it on, pull up your phone and you must quit the jobs through the phone like this. And then it will be loading you into the last session you were in. That's fine. That's what we want to happen, okay? So, once you do load into the last session you were in, we are not done yet. You will need to make your way over to the closest clothing store, which is across the street. Now, once you're there, all you want to do is overwrite the saved outfit on slot 1. So, save it about like one or two times. It doesn't matter. Then afterwards, this outfit is all yours. The trash fest does stick. I went to session to session. I even loaded offline. Then I went back to online and the trash fest is still there. But yeah, guys, hopefully I did enjoy this video. Comment below if you need any help. I'll try to help in the comment below section. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.